Okay, in this video, we are going to describe a sequence that shows that two two-dimensional figures are similar using a series of transformations. So, uh, how are we going to, how can we show that this figure is similar to this figure by uh, either rotation, reflection, translation, or since they're similar, dilation, uh, or using a combination of those. Uh, and I don't know if I mentioned it last time, but there are not, there's usually more than one way of doing this, but we're just going to go through one for a few examples here. So, uh, let's get started. I'm going to look at the figures A, B, C, D, and A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, and I'm going to notice a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to notice that obviously uh, this one is, the new image is larger than the original image, so there's probably a dilation uh, greater than one going on here. Also, I'm going to notice that on here, A and B are on the top of the image, and here, A and B are on the bottom of the image. So that, and, and there's still, uh, doesn't look like it's rotated side to side, they're still horizontal. So that kind of tells me that uh, there's probably a reflection going on here. So, uh, as I said, you can, um, there's, there's more than one way to do this, and, but I think that it's clear that there's at least a reflection and then there's also uh, a dilation going on. So we could pick either one of those to do first. Um, let's, for, for the sake of just uh, doing something different, let's do the figure out the dilation first. So I'm going to look, the distance between A to B in my original image is two units. And the distance between A and B on this image, the uh, dilated image, is two for six units. So that tells me that the relationship of A to B here and A to B here is one to three, or in other words, this is three times larger. Uh, just to check, let's see. The distance between B to C is one, and B to C here is three. So that's consistent with being three times uh, larger. So I'm going to dilate this image by a scale factor of three. So if A coordinate is um, one, negative one here, then my dilated image would be one, uh, sorry, three, negative three, if I multiply each of the coordinates by three. Um, B is three, negative one, so three times three is nine, and then negative one times three is negative three, and then uh, I'm just going to draw these in for the sake of time. You can see what they are later. This is three, three, six, nine. Okay, so my new image after a dilation of scale factor of three is this blue image, and I'll label it A prime B C. D. Okay, now, now it's even clearer to see maybe that I need to do a reflection over the x-axis. Okay, so if I reflect this over the x-axis, you can already see it takes me one, two, three units to get to the x-axis, so then one, two, three would get me to the a. Nine to get to this d, up nine to get to this d. So the series that I would need to do from going to the original image to the new image would be dilation by a scale factor of three and then reflect it over the x-axis. Let's do one more example. Have some light lines drawn in here. Hopefully you can see that A, B, C, that would be D, and then Oh, 
This is why we use straight edges. I'm giving a bad example here. Okay. All right, now this is a little bit difficult to see, but I hope we can uh, make sense of it. This is A prime, B prime, C prime. Okay. Um, again, if you can see, hopefully it's clear enough. This is a little bit larger than the original image. So we have a dilation, and if you look at the orientation of A and B, A is to the right of B in here. Here, B is above A, so that makes me think there is a rotation going on. And again, we can either do the dilation first, or we can do the dilation second, uh, and, and the rotation, either one. So let's go ahead and do, um, since we did the dilation first last time, let's do the rotation first this time. So 2, uh, let's see, 2, 1 would give me 2, 1. And then 4, 1, give 4, 1. And then this looks like, let's see, 3, 2. So, three, 2 is my B. And then 2, 5, 3. A lot of lines going on. Okay. Okay, here's my A, B, C after a rotation. What kind of rotation is that? Rotation uh, clockwise 90 degrees. Okay. Um, now we have to look at the two images. And again, it's a little, little blurry. Hopefully you we're able to see the points. This point is actually, it looks like it's actually one and a half. One and a half. Um, sorry, this would be, the x would be negative, one and a half, comma, y would be positive three. B looks like it's negative one and a half, comma, six. And then this D is negative three comma one two three four and a half and c is two four four negative four and a half comma seven and a half okay so we got some halves going on here so what do we do with that well let's look at um let's look at a couple distances here um the distance between a to b and by the way it's the same between the rotation right the rotation doesn't change the distances Distance between A to B here is 2. And the distance between uh, this A to B and my new image is 3. So 3 halves, that's 1.5 times bigger. Let's check another one. Um, what's going to be an easy one to check? Well, maybe we have to do it this way. Uh, if I want to go from the... from here to point B, I'm going 2, 4, and 1. But to here, I go 2, 4, 6, and 1 and a half. So again, we can see that there's a scale factor of 1 and 1 half. And this is not the video on how to do scale factors. There's, a, there's a other instruction for that. So. Um, you can review if this is too fast for you. We're just trying to, again, the complexity here is doing more than one transformation at the same time. But if we determine the scale factor is one and a half, uh, then we dilate this image. This coordinate, again, this coordinate at here was negative one comma two. And if we multiply that by a scale factor of one and a half, we get one and one half comma three. And that's our new image. Uh, Negative one and a half, three. Uh, we'll just do one more. The B, the original one is negative one comma four. We multiply that by a scale factor of one and a half. We get negative one and one half comma six.
Okay, and we can do that for the other ones as well. So, uh, if we want to move again from this original image to the new image, we need to rotate clockwise 90 degrees and then dilate by a scale factor of one and a half. I hope that was clear enough. You can always go back and watch it again and ask questions in class. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.